Hello, my name is Anand Bean and today I would like to look at the uh, size of Docker images in context of Java E. So the question is, uh, is Java E usable and how big the Docker images actually are? To make it um, the most possible real world way, what I'm going to do, I will use uh, the Docklands project. This is a GitHub project from, uh, from GitHub. Um, from, from a uh, repository. The qu um, why real world? Because uh, I use similar structure in, um, in, in most of my microservice Java E projects. So how it looks like, usually the first image is uh, like um, the, the base, absolute base operating system image in this particular case is a minimalistic Java 8 uh, um, image based on CentOS 7. And uh, then uh, I will, we have usually like a base application server image. This is a, a Whitefly in this particular case. And this Whitefly image downloads the, uh, the Whitefly from the internet and, um, and, and, and installs that. And this is based on the Java image. And then the very last image is the, um, as an example image, is the Whitefly pink. And the Whitefly pink um, is just, uh, creates a new war, a new microservice based on the Whitefly image. And this is actually what happens all the time. We build such uh, images, uh, um, I don't know, 50 times a day. So for each commit, we have such an image. And the question is, how big is such an image? And um, is Java E suitable for microservices? So to answer the question, uh, what I did, I will modify the uh, pink project several times. And, uh, and create for each modification an image. And what we also have here, I created a small script, uh, copy to Whitefly Pink, and this script performs Maven Clean install. So let's um, execute that. And then copies the war, so it's just very low tech, um, to, the, um, to the project. And then in the next window, I'm here in the uh, Whitefly Pink image. This is what I show it right now as you can see this pink war was the, was um, created right now and there is a build script and this build script creates new image so let, now build this and uh, now it's built we can build it again you can see um it's fairly fast now let's see what happened behind the scenes docker images as as you can see here, um, it it was built ten seconds ago. This is the the shay, and the um, the uh, the virtual disk size is seven hundred megabytes, which is incredible, of course. Because um, let's change this. I would say health um, forty two. Now let's rebuild the whole thing. Then come back here and say copy to white flag pink. So it will use Maven to build a war. And um, now I will. Um, build this but instead of using that i would just look into this build js as you can see i use that so instead of overriding of this to, to emulate our tagging and commit process i would create a docker image with a new version version 2 build again docker images and what you can see three seconds ago and another 700 megs so what it actually means, if we build it 10 times, we will get 7 gigs. And um, after half a day, I would have to buy another hard disk. Um, and the question is, is it really the, the, uh, this case? And um, there is an interesting command which answers this. And I will go into the command. So what I will do, I will go here and say, OK, Docker history, show me what actually happens. White flag pink first. So and what you can see here, this is the, uh, the size. A minute ago, two weeks ago, uh, something happened. That's the whole history of all my images. Images, as you can see, ten months ago I built once this Java image. Four months ago I was uh, I used one image, built one image for Whitefly, and something happens two weeks ago, and then about one minute ago I built the our application, and this is actually just the 9K. Now, um, interestingly, so um, let's let's do it again with. The version two, and what we can see here, this is the only change is the uppermost layer. As you can see, the uh, the um, the the hash number here, they are different. This is this is a minute ago. This is a minute ago. Everything else remained the same. 
So, um, also it looks a lot here, the virtual size image. The funny story is, uh, the smaller the war, the more you can build, because each version costs me having Java E and, um, and thin wars around 10K. If I would use uh, bigger wars or fat jars, each build, each image will contain the whole infrastructure plus your application, so it will be significantly larger. So um, application servers are not only um, suitable for microservices. What's funny enough, they are probably the best possible choice because they, came, they, they come with very strict separation between infrastructure and the application service images because uh, we have the deployment model which is unique for application servers. If I would bundle it with, uh, in a, I would say, in a, in a, in a fetch jar fashion, um, this fetch jar would include the whole libraries, dependencies, and the app, and the image will be, of course, significantly larger. So uh, thank you for watching. See you at Airhex TV if you have any questions, or um, even workshops at, at Munich Airport and um, in upcoming conferences, uh, projects, or, um, or uh, on Twitter. So thank you for watching, and bye.